Welcome to the Tony Gaskin Show, best-selling author, celebrity life coach, and international speaker. The purpose of this show is to bring you motivation, inspiration, and education in the areas of life, love, and business. Thank you for joining me. Now let's get started. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Now make sure you subscribe to the podcast, you know, download it to your phone. If you have a smartphone, if you're getting this from Facebook, go on my page where you click like and select the notification tab so that you're notified when I drop a new episode. If you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Going to try to ramp up the volume. Just answer one question per episode and hopefully soon we'll be rolling out some interviews. Today, answering a question, does my husband want it to work? My husband and I are separated. We live at two different places. We have been married since 2009. We are currently supposed to work on our marriage. For the most part, he's been communicating, spending time together, and spending the night often. My problem is that he works as a security officer and his supervisor is a woman maybe in her 30s. I had spoke about her with him because she calls him on a personal note instead of business. Well, lately, she's been doing it again, and my husband doesn't see it as a problem. I have a problem because it's disrespectful to me as a wife. He told me that he will handle it, and he will have me meet her and tell her not to call if it's not business. I'm not sure if he's willing to go through with this. What do I do about him understanding that this bothers me very much? Now, that's a great question, and this kind of spans across the board. And speaking to anybody in relationships, whether you're in a relationship, you're trying to make it work, when it comes to friends of the opposite sex. So, you know, you're in a heterosexual relationship, so that means a man is attracted to women. So that means friends of the opposite sex can bring some temptation. Now, of course, his his homeboys and people like that calling them, you know, that's totally different. But when you have a woman calling a man, and especially when the relationship is kind of on the outs, it's on the rocks, you live in two different places. So he actually can have this woman coming over to his place every night. She actually could feel like she's more than what he is saying that she is. So in this situation, when you're trying to make it work, and this is to anybody who's on the end of, you know, the burden of proof is on you. If the burden of proof is on you and you want somebody to believe that you're serious about the relationship and that you really want this thing to work, then your actions have to line up with your words. So what I mean by that is you have to be in a position to where you aren't giving your partner any room to feel like you're not all in. So you have to cut off those friends of the opposite sex. And as a woman, you know, she's saying, hey, I'm going to meet this other woman or I'm, you know, I've checked this other woman. I've talked to this other woman about calling my husband. And it sounded as if the way I read it was, he said, he's going to introduce you to her. He's going to let you meet her. You're doing too much. You know, you're doing too much. And that right there is a red flag because if there's a woman calling my phone as a married man, that's on me. Like, my wife doesn't need to get in that. She doesn't need to meet that woman. I'm not trying to bring this woman into our family and be friends and have her coming over to the cookout or watching the Super Bowl. My wife doesn't need to meet her. That is me saying that to kind of make my wife drop her guards and make her feel like, oh, everything's cool. I'm all the way open with this. But as a man, you have to own your situation and you got to be able to tell this woman, look, I'm married and you can't just be calling me 
because we already work together. So you can save the conversation for work. So you can't just be calling me just to shoot the breeze and talk because it's going to make my wife feel some type of way having a female friend that's in her 30s and obviously attractive to me. My wife is going to be in her feelings and I don't want to let my good be evil spoken of. I don't want her to feel like that I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. So I don't want my good to be evil spoken of. So I need you to fall back. Now, that's a man's place to put this other woman in check. But what you have to realize is that no woman in her right mind is going to be calling a man's phone all willy nilly just to shoot the breeze as friends unless that man made her feel that it's okay. So I believe this woman could be getting a different story than what the wife is getting than what you as the wife are getting. This woman, she, she feels another type of way because no woman in her right mind wants to be the other woman. No woman wants to be a bugaboo. No woman wants to be chasing a man. So she could be a little thirsty. She could be you know, ready for a relationship, she could want her a male companion or a male friend or, you know, somebody to really be with. And your husband has obviously made her feel comfortable with calling him. So this is something that it falls on him, not on her. You can't be mad at her. You can't be calling her, checking her, want to meet up with her, want to talk to her about it, want to hash, hash it out. And that's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of women make is you got to know where to point the blame. So often women call the other woman and want to have a powwow. Hey, stop calling my husband. Don't you be calling my husband. She's calling your husband because your husband is single. She thinks your husband is single or going through a divorce or separated. And that's why she's calling your husband. So. Instead of checking her, you got to check him. And if he doesn't get in line, quick, fast, in a hurry, quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm talking about if this thing isn't shaped up in, in less than a week, then you really have to take inventory. You really have to ask yourself, does he really want this to work? Is he really trying to get back together? Because a lot of times, you know, and I say this all the time, we stay in relationships just out of ego, not out of love. A lot of times it's not about our heart needing you and wanting to be with you. It's just our ego doesn't want to leave you alone. Our ego doesn't want to see you with someone else. So if we can just kind of keep one little string attached to you and just tug on it every now and then and be with you every now and then, but then have some fun on the side and do some other things and have another woman and have our own place. And he could stretch out this fixing up the relationship stage for three years. Uh, we're still working on it and popping over, spending the night, y'all having sex. So he's coming over, spending the night with you, having unprotected sex with you, going back to his place and meeting up with other women, having unprotected sex with them, and he got the best of both worlds. Tell you what you want to hear. What's coming out of his mouth is not matching up to his actions. So you're hearing what you want to hear, but you're seeing something different, but because you're getting a little bit of what you want to get, it keeps you waiting on him to change, and he's not really trying to make a real change. And it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long. I remember early on in my relationship, just dating, just dating. My wife had a, a male friend, you know, had a male friend who got got out of line. And I say, uh, that right there, cut it off. Got to be cut off. You know, he, he needs to know. His place needs to know his boundaries, needs to know you're in a relationship. Guess what? Never seen that man text again. I don't know what she told him, how she told him, never seen him text again. I mean, you know, we were young, 19, 20, 21. So there's a different situation. 
you know, people are a little more accustomed to it. But I, I didn't play any games. I didn't play any games because I know how having friends of the opposite sex could be. And then I wasn't even going to try her like that with female friends texting me because I just know how it goes. So you have to think about this thing and really ask yourself, okay, is this really adding up? Is Does it really seem like he wants this to work? Or am I just spinning my tires and wasting my time? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. If you have a question, send your question to inbox at TonyGaskins.com. That's I-N-B-O-X at TonyGaskins.com. I'll be looking for your question. These questions I'm answering, I mean, I got a whole lot of them in there, so it takes some time. Don't expect to hear it the next week. You might get that lucky if I just see it at the top and I like it, but it may take some time. Tell your friends family, mama, uncle, brother, and cousin. Subscribe to the podcast and we'll talk soon.